organized chaos. <laughs> um, nothing. <laughs> Shit show. <laughs> That's basically what it was. Uh, the everything I planned, you know, it just happened to be pretty cold, not windy. The day before and the day after it was windy. I asked for no wind as long as it was just cold. And, you know, I tried to compensate with like fire pits, hand warmers, hot drinks, and even opening up our shop since it was warm. That's where a lot of people were, so. It's whatever. I mean, lots of decorating and stuff for just like a few minutes and, you know, all that. And, uh, yeah, other than like marrying the love of my life and having my family there and um, close friends and uh, you know it went rather well. This is lopsided. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> did lose a friend in the mix-up uh, that day. what it is. People have to live their lives the way they want to. On a lighter note, <laughs> um, I did get some of this finished. I just have the sign to do and I don't know what to put up there yet so I'm not sure. So here's a little look at the realistic stuff here. I don't know if you can even see it. But of course it had to be a little glittery. <laughs> um, I'll put it I'll put it at the end of this video. I'll tack it on um, with a bigger or a more in-depth look at it. But here's my chicken coop from that teal. You can still see the teal inside. I didn't. I didn't go inside to do it. So yeah, there's a couple in there. And the little ladder and the eggs are in the basket, and then their watering thing. And that's just the back here. So you can see the teal in between. But then I've got some decorations and stuff. It's got a little tin roof on there. I don't think you can see it very well on this one, but yeah, I'm very excited about it, especially the corn. I love the tassels. Oh, the silks on there. Um, yeah, I was really excited about that. I even put in some, uh, some moss, some fake moss, which was like weeds. <laughs> Because not everyone's garden is so perfect. So, yeah, so I did that. And then I think I'm gonna actually take you guys on a tour of the room. I have fixed it up with some of the things that I wanted to. Um, it's clean right now-ish. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it up. Stay tuned. Okay, now we're back. <laughs> so here is my workspace. You guys have seen it before, I'm not gonna you know, go all over it or anything. I have some cords. Um, yes, it's just a vase with my little ring light and then I actually put it down so it faces down. So when I'm doing my uh, uh, face ups and stuff, they're right here. So, oh yeah, this is my, <laughs> this is my sword or sword that I got uh, for my wedding uh, attire. I wore two knives, one my dad made me, this one, I wore a pouch, and what else did I wear? Um, I can't remember, <laughs> that's horrible of me, but yeah, let me see, there we go, there we go, there's Sting, so it's actually a little letter opener for like 13 bucks I think it was on Amazon, so I don't know if that'll get cut or not but whatever so again all my art supplies well most of them all my brushes and things and yes I am older and I have money I have a job so don't think that you need all that to start out or anything so I did move my my well it's mine now my wolf poster onto my closet door and I'll have you look inside just a little bit because I got that for my cloth and there's more on top. <laughs> All this I'm going to make into um, some clothes for myself. As you can see down in the dark abyss there's more uh, doll stuff, more boxes, things like that. More up here. This is my Cape Club uh, repaints that I'm working on and then Monster High. 
here's some more uh, my one four scale stuff. Ah, that's Christmas presents. And then some artsy things all right here. And then some batting and a lamp. <laughs> that's not mine. So we're gonna move on. And this is just my reminder thingy, but that's all my sewing stuff behind it. Um, I put everything on top of one another. So all my yarn, all my felt is in there, furs. And then I have some more um, like extras, sewing stuff, beading, fetal, uh, needle felting, <laughs> needle felting. And then I have my one quarter scale stuff here. Um, I got this, my dad made it um, actually for our wedding and it was held our um, cards and stuff from people. So that'll probably be in the diorama as well. It's big enough that they can sit on it, so, which is kind of cool. Um, we've got the chimney, we've got the bookcase, the window, the cauldron. This is actually Harry Potter cauldron. There we go. That I got uh, when I went down when I was 30, down to Universal Stor Studios, so. I do have more vegetables and stuff, but I think they're in here. You can see it's filled to the brim with like books and things and all the stuff that goes on the bookshelf, so I'm not gonna look through it right now. So we're just gonna leave it. And then here is the broom that we jumped here. This is my bouquet uh, that my mother-in-law made me. And yes, I wanted them up on the wall. I really did. There's my <laughs> Millennium Falcon and uh, Snitch. And this is the tapestry that we had, the fantasy tapestry, uh, back behind the candy bar that we had. My mom set up for us. It was really cool. I'll, sh I'll show you a picture. I'll add it onto the, the end of this. And there's our Harry Potter train that we got for our wedding. Uh, Tim got that for us. And this is the trunk. It has all the girls' things in it, all their um, clothing and everything. Uh, here are the girls. They are in a... Shh, haven't touched them in a little bit, but getting back to them, so they're kind of like all over. Of course, some of my prized stuffed animals. <laughs> that's my very first one I bought myself. That one has the year I was born. And that's um, Tim gave me that one from his mom, I think. And this one we got when we went to the zoo because he likes rhinos. So, and that's my uh, Ray staff that I made out of a PVC pipe and junk. <laughs> so here we are, we have Snape. Yes, I haven't taken him out of the box because I just, I like it in the box. <laughs> I don't know why, and that's the only one I like in the box. There's all my embroidery thread, um, Cards Against Humanity, <laughs> uh, my Luna doll that I've had for a really long time, some turkey feathers, yes, they're all washed. You want to wash all your feathers that you find, anything outside. I've got my lanterns on the wall. There's our hand fasting cord for the wedding. This right here tells us that we are Lord and Lady. <laughs> because we donated to Scotland for their uh, reforestation uh, program. Oops, sorry. And uh, yeah, so we, we own a foot by foot uh, piece of land for a tree and in Scotland if you own land you are automatically a lord or lady so yeah they were actually pretty pretty good um, I think we got both of our plots for 80 bucks and then you get like the, the proclamation and stuff or you get to download it and just print it off yourself but yeah, that's extra. So here are my girls and, and some of my boys up here. So here they are. I'm going to go in. These are the little uh, penny box openings. So the two school haunting girls and then the two, uh, is it Antu, I believe. And then here is Leah, Akalia, Leah, yeah, Leah. There she is with her little hair. It's so cute. Uh, and then my one Ever After High doll still, I've had her forever, and I think it's just because I like her face 
It's the only one I've never redone and it's she's got the molded stockings which a lot of people hate. I mean they're okay they're not great I just have I just knew that I wasn't gonna repaint her or anything. And then all of my the three the three main girls that I got here um, yeah I see a lot of her still left and a lot of Laguna and Goyle the Goyle girl. Um, I don't care for those myself so that's why I don't have them. But I have ne not seen any more of her at all. So, and that's the one I made. Her little, a little bit darker aesthetic than this one. So, yeah. And then all of my gelflings so far. And then my little Viking girl, the one I got from Meg. I repainted her. And this is just a desk for my one fourth scale I haven't used in a while. These are my new ones. So the Scorpio and the Pisces. There's my girls back there, Sky, Kanina, the two little, two little ones I have. Um, he has ears, <laughs> and that is the the Tolkien uh, uh, bestiary kind of thing. Then the one Mikey repainted for me as me. We have Kylo and Ren. Got my pirates down there, some cosplay sabers. And then all my Harry Potter things are down there. And that right there is a stained glass that my parents had commissioned for Tim and I for our wedding. And it's actually really pretty. I just, I can't do it myself, so I'm gonna just leave it there. Um, this right here is something my dad made. And this, I showed him a picture. I was like, this is what I want <laughs> for my, uh, the candy bar at my wedding. So. Don't mind the dude, nude doll, but we had the candy and my mom had it all out and she had sticks and moss and everything. And it, so it was in front of this and so it looked beautiful. So I'll show you a picture. Um, my mom's like, yeah, just take the screws out and burn it. I was like, no, I love it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I love it. You know, I wanted to set it up there, but it's a bit long and a bit heavy. So I wouldn't be able to sit all my dolls up there with this big thing, because this is a big piece of wood. But this is the girl I'm currently going to be working on, because I wanted to get the painting done for the farm stuff. But yeah, I've got some modding to do. Hopefully I can get that done today or tomorrow. The paintings that I've done so far, I really want to get back to painting too, um, after I get her done, so yeah. Then I had some ivy left over. For, for my wedding. So I uh, just kind of put it together. I tied it up on a piece of string and just put it over the the window. <laughs> and you can see out, it's just, there's our shop right there. It's the detached garage. And a little bit further this way is where the coop is. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you my work area just because I wanna keep kind of keep that private, but you can kind of see all my, all my file stuff, so that's on that side. But yes, that's what it looks like. I'm actually gonna turn the lights off now and show you something kind of cool. So, and they're like little flames. I love it so much. And it gives this room kind of like an ambiance at, at night when it's really, really dark over here. So everything just kind of glows and it's really cool. So yeah. So this is my work area. I have tons of floor space for, you know, clothing and all that. So, yeah.